I've just arrived in Milan. Woohoo! This airport is so huge. It's big, big, big. So my first stop is the Cimetiere Monumentale. I know I have a thing for cemeteries, what can I say? Damn, this is big, it's nice. The weather is fantastic, it's not too hot. It's just good, it's good. I like it, especially on my face. Wow. So yeah. Oh, I see it. Look, it's not the, uh, you know, it's not the Burj Khalifa, but it looks like it. Oh, look at the tram! So nice! The Cimitiero Monumentale uh, was built in 1866. This is one of the two biggest in um, Milan. The other one is... the other one. I forgot the name. Uh, but this one is very known for having like a separation between religions, beliefs and it's got loads of different tombstones and and statues and such and there's lots of people so I assume he's famous so yeah let's go There's a guided tour happening outside and they have the, the like typical costumes of the era and stuff. So yeah. Even the pillars have tombs. Are tombs. Tour going on there. Since I don't understand Italian that well, I don't know what to say. This looks more like a sculpture garden than a cemetery. say that this is the most beautiful cemetery I've ever seen. The afterlife here is fancy. 
all the graves have some kind of ornament, adonation, statue. Oh, there's a cup. I think it's absolutely fantastic. This place is huge. You can easily spend the whole day here just go on about and checking all the works of art because this is an open air museum. This is everywhere you find something like this. vlogs in Rome or whatever but this is the most important thing you need to keep in mind when in Italy please be careful when you cross the roads because they do not stop they don't care if you stand at the zebra crossing for 10 5 10 minutes they don't stop to let you pass to let you go through so be careful hmm? So this is a very nice square. We've got the dog park, yay! And behind me, there, it's called the Bosco Verticale and it's a res two residential buildings with more than 900 is planted. Awesome! And on this side of the square, yes, that big building there is called the Diamond Tower and you can see why. It shines bright like a diamond. I forgot the sink. And there's more. That one 
that looks like Jenga which really looks like Jenga and if you like Jenga you'll like the building it's the tallest residential sc residential skyscraper in Italy I don't know how tall it is but it's very tall and there you can see the top of the Italian Burj Khalifa it looks like it from the other side it does I'm, I'm not lying so I assume this is very a very um, um, like um, you know modern part of um, Milan because uh, you can see all the skyscrapers and stuff oh there's a playground for children nice it's a nice park okay and apparently you can shop as well because you've got IBM you've got union credit you know I see everyone eating ice cream. I want ice cream. Let's find ice cream, okay? So now we're gonna eat ice cream. Let's go. Presenting to you the Milanese Burj Khalifa. That's how they plan. Damn. All the cities they were under the dominion of the Roman Empire have lots of these things called portas, doors these were the original gates to the city as you can see and obviously the cities were walled there was a wall around the cities around the city center usually where the castle is and I think the castle here is to the right to the right so yes even my hometown has one and it was basically the entrance and the exit of the city center and it's actually called the new gate arch and this one is called Porta Nova new gate <laughs> ah so cute I think I'm having too much fun walking by myself through the streets of Milan and talking to myself. That's what happens when you don't have friends. You talk. And then people look at you and think, ah, she's crazy. At least I've got a camera now. Oh, you know? Back to talking to myself. Welcome to Corso Buenos Aires basically a huge avenue where you can find all sorts of things from restaurants to shops to more restaurants so yeah so you've got Kika you've got H&M there and you've got guests so you know everyone can come and shop here except me because I don't like shopping and I don't have money Okay, bye!